So this graph, or rather this slide, kind of gives you a, a sense again of how it works. So again, with latitude, zero degrees at the equator, progressively going higher until you reach the poles, either north or south, at which 90 degrees is the highest number. With longitude, the prime meridian is zero degrees. And if you head west, the numbers progressively go up. If you head east, they go up as well. And the only distinction between them is what hemisphere you're in designated by the W in the Western Hemisphere or the E in the Eastern Hemisphere. Just want to point out too that longitude also um, has a, a unique role too beyond just being a measurement of position. It's also a measurement of time. Um, the prime meridian which runs through Greenwich, England, it goes from the North Pole through Greenwich, England, through uh, West Africa and then connects up with the South Pole divides the hemispheres and is a starting point for counting. But what about on the other side of the planet? Well, that other line is called the International Date Line. And the International Date Line is essentially a reference to time zones. Um, so we organize the Earth into time zones longitudinally. So each 15 degrees of longitude represents a one hour time difference or one hour time zone. And this is based on the fact that um, the sun arrives earlier in the east than it does in the west. So, for example, when it's uh, 8 a.m. in um, uh, Greenwich, England, right, it's going to be five hours earlier uh, in Boston. Uh, and that's simply because it takes some time as the earth is rotating for the sun to hit, uh, to hit us, and it takes some five hours for that to happen. It so happens that that five hours uh, also corresponds to the longitude. You can actually measure the time difference simply in terms of the longitudinal distance. So for example, we know that every 15 degrees of longitude, of longitudinal distance, constitutes one hour of time difference in terms of when the sun. So if you knew that, uh, if you knew your longitudinal distance from Greenwich, you could also predict how much of a time difference there is and vice versa. If you're interested, we can talk about that a little bit more later, but for, suffice it to say for right now that it's one of those important kind of elements that comes out of longitude. In fact, longitude is established uh, with a greater understanding of time. But again, another lecture. Okay, just to recap. So the latitude and longitude system, which we call the geographic coordinate system, um, allows us to fix positions on the Earth using these angular distances from the equator and from the prime meridian. And so it's a fairly simple system, at least conceptually. So for example, uh, here we are looking at Southeast Asia, right, just south of China, looking at Vietnam. And if we were interested in describing the position of Hanoi in Vietnam, for example, uh, the way that we do it um, con by convention is that we describe the latitude first, um, which is a little different than the Cartesian coordinate system, where you always give the x number first. And when you're working with Latin long, um, t typically or conventionally, you actually describe the Y first, so to speak, because you want to know how far north or south it is. Um, so in this case, Hanoi would be what? It would be 21 degrees north, right? So again, what we're doing is we're, we're looking at, we have references here too, we're looking at how far it is up from the equator, right? These numbers right here along the side represent our latitude because again, the latitude is again like your y number, your y measurement. You're measuring how far up you are from um, from that origin position, which is sitting on the equator. Secondly, we would be interested in knowing its longitude or how far east or west it is. So if you look at the numbers, you'll see here that they're increasing as we go to the right. So we'd be measuring again our longitude this way. Right? And so the longitude numbers are actually along the bottom here. And that's because, again, as you're moving east or west, the numbers increase or decrease, respectively. So in this case, we're looking at probably around 106 degrees east. That's a really roundish number you see. It's not quite on the line there. So the position for Hanoi in this case, and let's just be a rough number, would be approximately 21 degrees north and 106 degrees east. Uh, and it's important here to point out too that it's very important rather that you designate the hemispheres because it really makes a difference whether it's 105 degrees or 106 degrees east versus west, right? Put you on a different side of the planet. Same thing with the, the latitude. 
So essentially that's it then. That's how you establish uh, location on the Earth, uh, and that's how you use latitude and longitude. And the whole system again is referred to as a geographic coordinate system that uses latitude and longitude.